I know I might be considered crazy, but I always go to sleep with at least a little bit of lip gloss on. So this is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Sticky Toffee. Hey party people, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you my updated nighttime routine. I've just finished my everything shower, which is why my skin is a little bit dry. Before I get into skincare, the first thing that I do is all my oral care. So I've already flossed, interdental floss, and now I'm just going to use my tongue scraper and then brush my teeth and do a mouthwash. A tongue scraper is an absolute life changer. I already mentioned it in one of my other videos, but it's so good. In order to keep my teeth nice and white, I always use a whitening toothpaste. They actually work. Before I thought it was like all a facade. No, they actually work. Okay, now that I've done with brushing my teeth, I go in with this mouthwash. I picked up this mouthwash in Savers. I don't know why it looks familiar, even though I've never tried it. I think I've just seen loads of people use it. But it has 0% alcohol. And I've heard a lot of mouthwashes that have alcohol. It's why your breath smells after a while. But this is really, really good. I like this. All nice and clean. I always do oral care first because toothpastes, mouthwashes, all this kind of stuff, when you have it on your skin, for me, I remember ages ago when people were talking about toothpastes, what you use for spots, that burnt my skin. So I always make sure I get all that stuff out of the way before I even step into skincare. I'm gonna wash my face first. I'm gonna do a mask today. I love doing a mask every Monday. So I first go in with my cleanser. Sometimes I just splash so much water on my face, I feel like I'm drowning. I don't know why. I don't know why I do it to myself. But I really like this cleanser, it works for me. Um, I feel like I was gonna say something that I lost my train of thought. Oh, today's been one of those days where I've just washed my face so many times, even though I know it's not good for you. It's just sometimes, you know, I was washing my face in the bath, I washed it before the bath, I washed it after the bath, I was just like, damn, you're really stripping your skin. But anyways, I like to do a good 60 second wash. I get under the jaw, because I had makeup on today earlier. Let's wash this off. There will always be space for a scrub in my life. I firmly believe in a scrub. I only use them once a week. Ever since there was all this conversation about the fact that it can lead to micro tears, a lot of people stopped using them. But for me, I'm like, well, if facialists use them, dermatologists use them, and they genuinely work for my skin, especially with the texture that I have. I just feel like a good scrub, and I don't go too harsh, you know what I mean? I just let it do what it needs to do. Focus on the areas that I get loads of texture. So in and around my nose, the middle of my forehead, my chin area and my upper lip. Isn't it so funny that you just get to, listen, me and texture, we're actually beefing right now. I'm gonna show you guys a clip of what my skin looked like the other day. And I woke up with my skin like this. Texture just makes no sense to me. How am I going to sleep with my skin basically perfect? and waking up with a shit ton of texture. It don't make no sense. I'm like, damn, I've had this stuff for almost 10 years and I still haven't got it figured out. Did I change my skincare? No. Did I eat anything different? No, I was fasting two days beforehand, or for two days before I ended up with this like texture flare out because I've been making up my days. Super late, I know, but you know what I mean? So can we just get it together? Can we just have like a miracle product for texture, please? That's not this, because I'm not doing that no more. That's, I use that on my hair now, but you know what I mean? Anyways, we've got lovely. Also, I feel like this releases so much tension from my head. Maybe that's just me and the psychological thing, but I love me a scrub. Mm -mm. Okay, now let's wash this off our face. I'm gonna let my face edge. Oh. I'm normally just spitting all the water everywhere. I'm gonna let my face air dry because the mask that I'm going to use, it requires your face to be absolutely dry and I don't use towels. So I'll be back as soon as my face is dry. We are back. My face looks so insanely dry right now, because it is. 
I'm gonna go in with the Ordinary Silicylic Face Mask at 2%. I love this mask so much, I've been using it for absolute ages. And then, ah! I always get scared I'm gonna do that and it go in my eye. My goodness, I've got to be a bit more careful. Maybe next time I won't start there. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes. When I first got this, I've only recently started reading instructions that come on packaging. But I used to put this on my face for about 25 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes. And then I read the instructions and it was like, leave it for 10 minutes. But yeah, I do like a nice thin layer all across my face. Um, and this is just so good for texture, especially like after using the scrub. I've always found like layering things to be the best option. Why is my light changing or is it just me? Another thing, I'm thinking about bleaching my brows. I've never bleached my brows before. But I don't want them to stay blonde. I want them to be like a light brown colour. So I don't know whether I should bleach them. And then you know how the girlies use like men's dye or highlight? The brow, the beard dye. And keep it like a nice ashy brown colour or something. I just don't know. Because I don't shape my brows, I'm a little bit sick of them. You know what I mean? So I don't know whether to just fade them out slightly by making them a lighter colour it might be a really bad mistake but then I can just dye them black again you know what I'm saying anyway I know I look very scary right now I'm gonna leave this for 10 minutes it doesn't it's also not one of the masks that like crack it's not a clay mask which makes it easier to kind of like live in but yeah I'm gonna put this on for 10 minutes and then I'll be back I'm back! I realised this Loki looks like blackface, but it's dry now. It's not one of them things that crack, which is what I like. So I'm gonna quickly wash this off. It is a little bit stubborn to get off, but let me wash it off. Like I said, it's a bit stubborn. So I take off as much as I can with water and then I use my face wash and just kind of like lather it off to get the stubborn parts. Nobody has all day to be looking into the sink and washing it off and not me and I just think this so I definitely have overwashed my face today and it slightly annoyed me but we are here this is the last bit of washing that I'm going to do did I get a little bit of my eye maybe Woof. one thing about me I don't care what the dermatologists say I will always be using warm water when I begin my face routine and cold water to close everything off like I said, I don't use towels. I haven't used towels for years. On days where I can't always be bothered to wait, I just get one of my facial toners. I always split these down the middle. I just feel like they're more effective. And also they just last longer. And I kind of slowly get off all the water that's on my face. I'm not dragging though. I know not to drag this as well because I've heard that this can Especially when you use cotton pads every single day, it can really affect your skin barrier. Whew. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with my toner. This is the best toner in the world. I actually have it in a spray bottle and I will be using it in the spray bottle after. I haven't peeled the plastic up properly so it just kind of squirts everywhere. But anyways, if there was one product in my skincare routine that I could not replace, as in it has to say everything else I can replace it would be this toner I have used it for maybe seven years my texture should we get into it my texture especially on my nose is so stubborn and this is the only thing that keeps it at bay I've tried different things I'll always come back home you know what I mean why not why not wipe my nose with it as well this is the same toner in a spray bottle and I'm just going to just, you know what I mean, does the job. Make sure I've got off my lips though. Just slightly dampen on the skin before I go into my next product. But yes, I cannot believe how pale my skin is guys. Every winter I'm shocked by what ends up happening because in the summer, 
my skin tone is completely different anyway i'm gonna go in with this bean essence i said i was gonna make a review on my previous video i'm just gonna explain now essentially one minute because this loves to slide all over the girl um essentially i saw this girl on tiktok i don't buy a lot of products from TikTok, even if they go viral. Anyone who has survived the 2010s on YouTube when it came to makeup and skincare knows how TikTok is the exact same thing. And I won't be duped into spending my money when things are just, when a lot of people are lying. You know what I mean? I don't understand like the constant need to lie. This is great. However, I definitely feel like it was overly, it was made to seem as though it was something it wasn't. On all the videos, it's kind of like if you rub and rub and rub, all of kind of like your sebaceous filaments come out and it helps with texture and all this kind of stuff. It does very little. I've tried it, I've used it for a very long time. Not a very long time. I use it for two weeks um, and I rub and I rub and I rub and literally I get like maybe three or four dead skin dots and I know my skin is not perfect. Um, and I know that more stuff should come out based on what the TikTok videos say and I followed the instructions and yet there's just nothing so I don't understand it. I use it more just like a normal serum and then if I have makeup on or I'm going to do makeup then I'll get like a little bit, then I'll rub it and I'll get rid of some of the dead skin but it is not what it was made up to seem which is why I'm slightly annoyed. I'll still continue to use it, it's a great product but it was oversold. You know what I mean? Had people just been honest, I would have been like, it's great anyways. Now I'm like, well, it's good, but is mine broken? Okay, then I'm going in with my favorite product of all time. This is a very close second to if I couldn't, if I had to replace all of my products, I don't know whether I'd be able to replace this. This is the multi-peptide copper serum from The Ordinary. If you guys look at my skin, I actually haven't got a lot of hyperpigmentation. These are my under eyes. It's weird if my moustache is coming in, but this product has just helped so much. My mum uses it. My mum had this discoloration mark on her cheek. We don't know where it came from. You know, sometimes you just wake up and your skin decides to surprise you. Anyway, she's been using this and it has been fading so well. Then I'm going to go in with my set to burn. I love this as a moisturiser. I'm first going to let everything soak in. I like letting all of my products like seep into my skin before I just lather something else on. Alright, I go in with a little bit of moisturiser, not too much. Not too much. And I like to apply this as a mask first. Let it you know what I mean, do its thing, and then I begin to rub it in. So just make sure that it's everywhere. Also, another thing about me, I've used loads of moisturizers in the past, loads of products actually, but one thing that I will never do again, I will only use products that work everywhere around my eyes are super sensitive. And I've used products like E45 before, 100% rose hip seed oil, and they break me out around my eyes. And especially, Products like that that have done like amazing things for the rest of my skin. I ain't got the time for that no more. If you're not working absolutely everywhere, we're just gonna have to go back to the drawing board and choose something else. So I'm gonna let this sit just for a little bit before I start rubbing it in. I don't know why I pat. I don't know why I pat. I'm pretty sure that this is like some sort of Korean skincare hack like patting it into the skin first i've also seen tracy ellis ross do this and her skin looks fantastic also she is a millionaire so stuff that i'm wearing this is 100 percent silk scarf thrifted thrifted seven pounds this beautiful robe that i'm wearing thrifted thrifted i think maybe three pound fifty or something like that okay then I'm going to go in with my 100% squalene oil. There's actually not a lot of oils that work for my skin. So many of them are so heavy. A lot of them, even if they are 100% and super natural, um, break me out like I get allergic reactions around my eyes. Squalene oil is so light. There's no smell. It doesn't irritate my skin. It's absolutely fantastic and super affordable. So I use that just to seal everything in. And I do like a little bit of massaging. I sometimes use my gua sha when I have time. 
But this is what my skin looks like up close and personal. See, I do have some texture. I'll show you. The, I've shown you guys the video. But other than that, it's doing really well. And last but not least, and I know I might be considered crazy, but I always go to sleep with at least a little bit of lip gloss on. So this is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Sticky Toffee. And that is my complete skincare routine. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. What do the people say? Comment, um, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye. Why did I just go instead of bye?